everyone. Welcome to the chat. Happy Friday Eve. That's what we call it now. Yes, we do indeed. We do <laughs> All of indeed. us here. We're almost there. It makes you feel good when you say Friday Eve. You know, Thursday doesn't have the same ring to it. Just so. the word Friday being in there is just yes. a good I thing. I think that is Agreed. the key. I Agreed. really do. Take so. us home, Tony. Exactly. <laughs> All, right. All right. No pressure. All right. So we have a jam-packed show today, so we're going to get to it. Today, in case you don't know, is National Get Over a Day. I feel like we need to hear Don Henley right there. Anybody remember that song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. This day was created by Jeff Goldblatt in 2005 after having trouble getting over an ex-girlfriend. Now people across the country are using hashtag National Get Over It Day to post their personal thoughts on social media, which I think I'm personally over. So, <laughs> so yes. what is something that you wish people would get over? I, I was, like, so overwhelmed with this that I, I couldn't, you, you know how you're so overwhelmed you can't come up with just one thing? I felt yeah, like there was a yeah, list of yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then, I, you know, I just couldn't come up with any, you know. It was bad. So, who wants to start? <laughs> I've got a list. I know. <laughs> I know. I was just saying it before we started. Yeah. I was like, my list know, is I, I want to say that my biggest pet peeve lately is just selfishness. Mm -hmm. I just feel like the overindulgence and just the selfish behavior that is just absolutely rampant is just killing us all and I just want that that's killing me mm. get over it people be get aware over it. of other it's people national get over it day. right national get over it be more aware of others I want to be I I've had an issue for several years now especially having lived in Los Angeles and moving back here with um customer service and just the lack thereof because there's no service in customer service mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i wish people would get airlines ex airlines <laughs> uh clerks uh, at uh, you know uh, counters mm -hmm. and i mean just in general being on the phone and you know so i'm just true. we're just trying to do business and mm -hmm. people in this day and age are so lucky to have jobs to begin with and i just want people to get over who if you're in a job of service get over the fact that you have to I'm, work I'm there service. to be. Yes. I'm yeah, there to be right. served, and guess what? Our relationship right. is key because I will be nice <laughs> to you, right. and I will not. I will not write your supervisor, or I will not turn you in. I mean, because I it has gone so bad, and, and you're so me, right on that. You're, I, you're on point. Yes, you are yes, on point. Yes, I, I, it. I hear what you're saying, and I like it. Like yes, <laughs> yes. Well, mine's going to be a little different. Okay, bring it. Okay, I am over, and I think men. And I, <laughs> Well, but wait, I'm not over men. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Okay. I am over men that has been hurt in the past and they allow that one bad relationship to hinder Ugh. their future or hinder the blessing, the woman that God has for them. Well, you know, I was hurt in the past or my last girlfriend did this. But or women can do that too. Get over it. I mean, all, all people can, that's not gender specific. Anybody well, can, my but you're right on that. Yes, you're yeah. right, it's not gender specific. Yeah. But my women, because we are smarter, because mm. we are stronger, <laughs> we have that S on our chest and we, we can get over it. It, but men, they have a Linger. challenge. Ooh, They're lingerers. Ooh, they, it, it, it lingers. See, I think They're men lingerers. would say the opposite. I, yeah. I feel like, of course they will. Of course they will. Of course they will. Of course they will. But I feel like women are more than that. Whatever. I, but good point. Yes. I just don't like the fact, I mean, we're talking about saying somebody to get over it. Mm -hmm. yes. And yeah. I come from a different angle. I come from the fact that I don't like when people say that. I don't like when people say, you know what, get over it. And mm -hmm. it dismisses the, I think yeah. that I'm so that. empathetic. That's one of my favorite sayings. So unempathetic. I, I think it is so rude. I think it is disrespectful. And I'll tell you, get I, over told, it, Angelina. I told you a story last week. Remember the story I told you last Which week, one? Ponytail Gate? I was oh, at an event. Oh I was at a very God. nice ponytail event. Ponytail Gate. Ponytail Gate. <laughs> I had my hair in a awesome. ponytail. Don't get over I was that. standing. We had, there was a bunch of women, 50 women that had to stand in a row to take photos. And the photographer says, you guys squish in. We can't get everybody in. So no one wants to go down front. You know, nobody wants to crouch down. Of well, course. I'm like, fine, whatever, I'll do that. So I go down and I stand in front of the women and I crouch down. Two feet, I'm crouched down. Somebody behind me is a stranger. She pulls my ponytail, pulls it down and says, this is what I do to people who stand in front of me <gasps> in a photo. And held my ponytail down and oh, I yeah. turned around and I'm like, that was really rude of you, actually. I don't even know you. And she goes, 
Get over it. Oh. <laughs> so what do you you're know saying? You want to see somebody's blood boil really oh, yeah. quickly? I, Tell I somebody to get over something. So we, that will cause a, relax, a real problem relax, that you won't face. be getting over. What I you're saying, over Angelia, <laughs> is you want people to get over saying get, get over, over it. it. <laughs> well, I think that it goes back. That too. <laughs> it goes back to mine. Selfishness. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. people are yeah. so selfish and so unaware of other people. Mm -hmm. The fact that someone would touch your hair, oh. a oh, stranger. It oh, if it's a friend, that's oh, one thing. I you know, going, oh hey, you know, that's one I thing. Can. But a stranger, mm -hmm. mm -mm. But I didn't get over it, and I don't think I'm still over it. So. <laughs> I don't think you're not over it for you. I know. Sometimes we have to use. I know for myself, I have to use to get over it when I am trying to. If if I am going through something internal, whether it's emotional, mental, whatever it may be, and I have to talk mm -hmm. myself and say, okay, Hannah, you need to get over it, let's go. Right. I use that a lot for myself. Get over it. Well, maybe that's I get really over the day it. is because the day you started, this guy, you know, yeah, was yeah, trying to get over it. So maybe broken, it's all yeah. about more like what you have to get. Like, I need to get over, I need to get over serious road rage if you're in the left lane and you <laughs> won't pass yeah. and you will not let me pass. Yeah. Get over into the other lane yes. and I need to get it and people just I, aren't going to do that. I would suggest getting over it right now. I know. I know. <laughs> not so happen. I know this about myself. She's fuming. So I need to try to meditate while driving or something. I don't, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Just keep yeah. your eyes open, will you? <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Classical okay. music. Okay, well, we're going to leave that one right there. <laughs> but, yes. So Love as it. we all know, yesterday was International Women's Day, and I had the opportunity to hang out, interview, laugh, and talk with some pretty amazing women. I attended the live show of The View yesterday. As part of their 20th anniversary, they did their show live from Animal Kingdom at Disney World in Orlando. So after sitting in the audience with the sun beating down on me like I stole something from it, <laughs> then I got backstage to interview all five of the ladies. So let's watch some of the interview and we'll chat on the backside. The View, one of America's most loved shows, 20 years, 20 co-hosts, and over 4,000 episodes. But of course, it's no secret that there's been a few challenges through the years, but you've managed to work through them. What would you say? It's the staying power. There haven't been any challenges. They're just a little bit. No, what do you attribute no. to the staying power, Whoopi? It's five women having a conversation. But you've been on air for so long, 20 years. Yeah, that's well, that's pretty women awesome. Women actually like this. They like to hear the conversations we're having. And, you know, everybody else is finally caught up. But you know what? Well, let's break this misnomer. There was one issue, one time. Mm -hmm. And there haven't been issues since. Well, you know, sometimes one is all it takes. And then uh, that's no, what America believes. No, because you don't, well, but see, I, that's why I'm not letting you continue that. Mm -hmm. 20 You're years. shutting it down. One issue. Mm -hmm. One issue mm -hmm. in 20 years, I think it's pretty good. Okay, I understand that. I understand that. Okay. She shut it down. Okay. So I'm going to move over to you, Joy. <laughs> so one of, she's OG, absolutely. I didn't even know we were 20 different hosts. Yes. Wow. Yes, 20 hosts, absolutely. So you've yeah, been on. One of us had right. No, you're not. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> The first episode, August 11th, 1997, fast forward 20 years. How has the show changed? Um, um, the table has changed radically. We all did a whole new thing of body snatchers. <laughs> you start out with one group, and then over the years, the body snatchers come in, and they sit in the same seats. <laughs> okay, I understand that. Who was the diva of the group? Joy. No. Oh! I don't know that we have a diva. I mean, you know, like what we said, we really? all you know, like each other. I don't think, well, oh, I'm not, why do you say me? I'm interested in this. Queen. I know, but why yeah. do you say I'm a diva? You're the diva. They're the diva queen. Have you heard You've been yourself? here the longest. That's what. No. Wow. Why? Yeah, because I want to do this interview in the shade. They yeah. think I'm a diva. Uh, Maureen I will stand you on set. While you lay back like this. Right. I'm a diva. I mean, some people you, you see what I mean by the word around here? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying now? So speaking of that, I want to talk about this bell. So whose idea was it to bring the bell out and why? Well, the bell. The be oh, yeah. Why? Well, loves a bell. Because it was, it, it actually, it actually signals something very different. But in another, in another, in another group, one of the people didn't like the fact that it signifies something very specific. So we've changed what the bell means, but now that person's not there, so we've gone back to what that it actually meant. an answer. No. Okay, so you give me the answer. What is your definition of the bell and why? No, I'm just saying she didn't give you the name, she didn't give you the why, she gave you nothing. Did you notice that? That's how slippery she is. If you don't have something nice to say, come sit next to Joy.
Ah, feisty. Oh it was very great. Feisty very, very grill. feisty. But hey, way, way, way more of that. There's going to be more later on in the show. You'll get to see the rest of the interview. But let me tell you, I have interviewed many celebrities in my career. This was t at the top. Yeah. These ladies were so full of life, charisma. They were talking trash to each other, laughing. As you see, they dropped the B word a lot. Um, they, <laughs> one lady. Yeah, yeah well, it was, it was yeah. more than one. Some of it didn't make it on cam, but they were very energetic. They were so nice. I mean, they were regular people just make big old paychecks. That's I like all. how they were dressed so casual. I know. Yeah, and yeah, the little so overalls and a t shirt. Yeah, and, that's and, how, and that's how they were. Yes. So, what are they? That. They're taping their show this week or last week in, in they Orlando? Were there, they were there Monday, Tuesday, and yesterday. Um, oh, yesterday's okay. show was live. Monday and Tuesday there was a live show and a recorded show, but yesterday was just one show and it was live. Um, it, it was... It was a small army of people out there. The oh, production, sure. yeah. the the glam squad, every commercial, the glam squad I ran out there and fixed. Just like yeah. here, it's, it's the same. It's like it's a spinning image. I, it's the glam squad is just invisible here. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. Right. Coming up after the break, staying on top in a male-dominated field. We're going to chat with a woman who's holding her own in the auto industry. We'll be right back.